And we have liftoff. Good morning. Hello. How are you? I'm Adam Handler. I'm your Case Handler. It's Monday, uh, July 20th. I had to check on that one. Monday, July 20th. This is not fake news. You are officially cruising with the Case Handler. We are attorneys. I am, uh, again, Adam Handler, your Case Handler. We are Pollock, Pollock, Isaac, and DeSico. We are a full service law firm here in Manhattan. We offer have offices in uh, Brooklyn and Peekskill, and we're here to serve you. We're here to give back to the community that's embraced us for decades by offering 100% free phone consultations. That's right, 100%, no strings attached, free phone consultations, whether it's personal injury, immigration, matrimonial, criminal defense, you got a real estate question, someone in your family passed away, you wanna know how to probate a will. These are all questions we're happy to answer for, you, answer for you, sorry, no strings attached. But the most important thing you can do right now, other than listening to your boy, the case handler, is to take our number down and save it somewhere in your phone. Dial it, let it ring a few times. Uh, then all of a sudden you can go back when you got a second, and uh, go into your calls and uh, save it when you can. Our phone number is 844-774-3529. That's 844-774-3529. Or easy to remember, 844-PPID-LAW. With me today, as always, um, are my partners, uh, Conrad the Maestro Pollock, and Nelson the Maverick Madrid, and of course, my co-host, co-pilot on this show, a gentleman that I've been broadcasting on this radio station, 93.5 FM, since 2005. That's right, since 2005, Squeeze and I have been on this radio station. We've gone our separate wiggly ways. He's going left, I'm going right, but we always seem to come back on the same road together, and I'm thrilled that we're doing this. We recently celebrated our 100th episode a few weeks ago. Uh, and that's a lot of information out there, ladies and gentlemen. So not only can you watch this show on Facebook or clips of it on Instagram, but you can go back and watch previous shows because we've given some amazing information throughout the months, throughout the years. And of course, we've answered some really tough questions live on this show uh, that may be relevant to you or your family. So again, if you could do us the favor and please save our number, our, it is 844-774-3529. That's 844-774-3529. We are Pollock, Pollock, Isaac, and DeSico. And uh, Squeeze, let me ask you one, one thing before we start. Can I ask you a quick question? Sure, sure. You down with PPID? Come on, man. You know me. All right. <laughs> that put a smile on Nelson Madrid's face, okay? The Maverick himself, it's good to have uh, everyone here together again. Conrad, welcome back. All right, Nelson, welcome back. Adam, welcome back. It's been a very long, hot weekend, and it's going to be a hot day today also. But we are here still helping people. We're not sitting in some pool somewhere. We're actually doing some work here. So it's great, you know. So I got to say super pleasant good morning to each of you. Ladies and gentlemen, as Adam noted, this show is about personal injury. It's about immigration. We want for you all to reach out to us. Once again, the powerful number to reach the firm at is 844-774-3529. Once again, if you want to get that free immigration phone consultation, you need to call before the top of the hour and uh, say, hey, I want a free phone consultation. And that number, once again, is 844-774-3529. That's 844-774-3529. That's 844-774-3529. Five two nine. Make sure you reach out to them. Adam Handler, you heard him say it. He's been on this station over 15 years. Now, who is he? What has he done? Well, he's the man who has settled over $120 million for his clients and primary clients from uh, the station who have listened to the station. And there is no other attorney on the station. There's no other attorney that I know, okay, that is as celebrated as the shark, as the case handler, as Adam Handler himself. Because, ladies and gentlemen, if you ever get hurt in an accident, you just need that one man. Because you got that one chance, ladies and gentlemen. One choice. 
you've got to make it the case handler. And that's Adam Handler. The number is 844-774-3529. FM listeners. I want to remind you that we are also live on Facebook. My page, David Squeeze Anarchy. Adam's page, the case handler. The firm's page, PPID or Pollock Pollock, Isaac and DeSico. Look them up, subscribe to the page, like the page, follow the page. Let's build up the following. And as for the folks who are watching us on Facebook, the greatest compliment you can give Nelson, Conrad, Adam, myself, is to actually share the page with at least 10 people every time you watch. So once again, ladies and gentlemen, make sure you stay locked in each and every single weekday morning at 8.30 a.m. right here on 93.5 FM and also on Facebook. Gentlemen, okay, I, I want to jump it off this morning, seeing that it's a new week. Is there anything anyone wants to touch on? Conrad Pollock, the managing partner, the maestro, do you have anything to say? But we got the Maverick Minute coming up later on, you know. Anything you want to say on immigration and not about immigration as we jump the show off? I missed you guys. <laughs> we <laughs> missed you too, man. <laughs> we missed I was, you uh, uh, I wasn't on uh, for the last couple of days. I had some personal uh, business to take care of and um, uh, missed you guys. It threw off my whole, uh, my whole schedule. <laughs> this, in <laughs> fact, this morning, uh, I almost uh, overslept. You know, My wife had to drag me out of bed. Come on, Conrad, get out of bed. The show, the show. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, that <Yeah. laughs> that show! <laughs> Don't worry, Conrad. I mean, I, 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 I mean Nelson. Okay, the thirteen-year veteran in in an on immigration with the firm, right? He was in his elements in your uh-huh. absence. I must say, he was he was in his elements in your absence. He was on fire like a mother. You know, he was all fired up and pumped. He did an excellent job. So, yeah. listen, you really What's choose up? the right people What's to work. You know, with you, man, and, and Nelson did an excellent job. You know, so don't worry, we got your back. All right? Perfect example of, of of our firm and how we handle business. You know, we're all professionals, we're all practicing attorneys, and when somebody's got to do something, is that is it? Is Adam that, froze Adam? up. Yeah, Adam froze up. Yeah, yeah, we're here, but all right. So before. Uh, you know, <laughs> We'll come back to Adam, you know, basically I presume what he was saying is that, you know, the fact that we've got such a balance of uh, team members there, one can always back up the other, you know, regardless of, you know, if they have something to do or doing something elsewhere. Oh, he's back. Hey, I don't know what happened there. Your internet sucks. I'm giving it back to you. Yeah, it it says my internet, it says my connection is unstable. I mean, there's definitely a lot of things that uh, are unstable around here, but I never thought it would be my connection. Yeah, but you're going that's all it. good. Uh, but I was saying, I was saying, you know, that we pick each other up, and that and that's what makes this firm great. You know, we work together, we work collaboratively, uh, and we pick each other up. You know, Nelson's in the office, uh, Conrad's working from his home office. I'm working from my home office today. Matthew Goodstein's in the office today, so. You know, we're, we're a, a great combination of being able to accomplish everything we need to do to better serve our clients. Because the truth is, it's all about the clients. You know, Squeeze, you're all about the Benjamins, but we're all about the clients. And, I'm all uh, about the clients, believe me. Believe me. The Benjamins, you know, with, without the Benjamins, man, you couldn't put your beautiful daughters through school. All right. Without without the, without the Benjamins, we can't take care of our families. Without the Benjamins, there's a lot of stuff we couldn't do. Without the Benjamin, Conrad could not make the firm be as you know as large as it is and keep it growing. You see what I'm saying? Without the yeah, Benjamins, you know, you know the the yeah. Maverick, you know, it, it could not be doing all these great things for all his clients. So the Benjamins you know come in play. The Benjamins, the Benjamins follow the clients. You take care of your clients. The Benjamins will follow. That's absolutely, how absolutely. That's, and the Benjamins follow your client, Adam. Absolutely, you, Ben. You're talking about 100, over 120 million uh, of those George Washingtons. Well, I guess those are dollars. So, how many Benjamins is uh, 120 million? That's uh, that's a million. A million Ben? No. What's what's 120 million divided by 100? That's uh, I'm having a problem this morning. 112. That's uh, 120,000. No, it's yeah. more than 120,000. One point two million. Yeah, one point two. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, yeah. right, right. There, there you go. One point two million Benjamins for and case this is why, 
And this is why I run the firm, folks. <laughs> <laughs> this is why okay. I got the numbers. <laughs> it's true. He pays the bills. That's right. That's right. We'd all be homeless right now if I yeah. was in charge of the finances. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, all kidding aside, again, we are uh, Pollock, Pollock, Isaac DeSico. If you like what you hear, if you like what you have been hearing um, these past few months, you know, past few years, past few decades, actually, then uh, you'll keep our number. Hopefully you'll never need it, but God forbid you do. There are attorneys out there that do things much, much differently than everybody else. And we are here to help. Uh, we've been around for almost, well, the firm has been around for almost 60 years. And uh, that doesn't happen by accident. And it happens because you're providing quality legal service to individuals who keep your practice going by giving you the, re the respect and giving you the, um, the courtesy of a referral. Uh, I'm third generation, Conrad's second generation, Nelson's first generation, uh, but it's in our blood. It's what we do, and it's all we do. I practice personal injury exclusively. Yeah, I may have to get my friend out of a speeding ticket once in a while, but personal injury is what I do and what I love. Nelson and, and Conrad handle the immigration. Uh, our partner, Fred DeSico, the closer, handles the real estate and the transactional work. Our partner, Brian Isaac, is one of the most respected and recognized appellate attorneys in the state of New York. Facts, all right? We are, uh, we are professionals. We're very, very good at what we do. We can't say we're the best, but I'm going to say we're really, 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 really good at what we do. And that's evident by the results uh, that we've obtained for our clients to date. We can never guarantee a successful result, but if you want to put yourself and your family in the best possible position, for the most successful outcome of your case, whether it's personal injury or immigration, you're gonna keep our number, you're gonna save it. 844-774-3529, that's 844-774-3529, or easy to remember, 844-PPID-LAW. There you go. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, cruising with a case Saturday, 8.30 a.m. weekdays right here, make sure you check it out. And of course, Saturdays and Sundays, respectively, 7 p.m. and 12 noon. We're here, we're ready for your questions. Once again, do remember to post those questions in the comment section on Facebook, okay? Whatever Facebook page you are currently watching, we will see those questions there. The other questions, of course, will be via WhatsApp in the WhatsApp group. And I'm gonna ask Tracy to actually share that WhatsApp group with everyone so people can actually, more people can join the WhatsApp group so we can get those questions from there. With that said, uh, uh, there's no immigration updates? Um. The orange man was uh, busy this weekend uh, taking care of other things. He had an interview on Fox News yesterday, which was kind of... Uh, yeah, I saw that. I, I saw uh, that, you know, for... Funny, for funny to watch. Chris Wallace going after him, you know, yeah. and, and, uh, and what's funny is that, uh, you know, Trump's like, hey, Chris, what's yeah. with the fake news? <laughs> and, and, he, and he's like, what fake news? I'm not fake news. And he's uh, telling him he's, he's, he's much easier on the Democrats than he is on, on him. I mean, yeah. come on. I mean, this is, this is, you know, Fox news. That's your home. That's your home base, man. If, uh, if they don't go too hard on you or hard enough, I don't know what to expect, but listen, I think we're moving in the right direction. I really do. And, uh, there are, even though there are limits on what we can do as far as immigration, there are many areas of immigration that are still open for business and we're able to help. Uh, you guys want to talk about some of those, uh, things that we can help ladies and gentlemen with, uh, with their immigration issues. Nelson, what do you, what do you think uh, you guys can do at a firm to help people who are actually in I mean, this? Listen, we, we still can do everything. You know, I mean, things have just gotten a little harder. Um, in fact, one of the things we're starting to do more of is uh, federal litigation. In fact, I was on the phone with a colleague um, last night at like 830. Um, and uh, Conrad, I don't know if you know, but uh, we had a client who was going to be put on a plane this morning and we got an emergency stay last night at 8.30 p.m. So an emergency stay basically prohibits the government from moving him while his case is pending. Um, and this is someone who just recently retained us, who was ordered deported 10 years ago. His prior attorneys didn't do much in his case. Um, so we, we work, you know, we work seven days a week and we try to do the best that we can for all of our clients. Beautiful. And also thrown out there, um... When Biden wins the election on November third, things are going to go back to normal. Let's hope. Uh, if you, if you, and I direct, I would suggest everybody who has an interest in immigration, Google 
uh, Joe Biden's immigration policy. Just rule it that way, Biden's immigration policy. And you'll see all the great things that he has planned, uh, basically bringing normalcy back to the system, uh, bringing priorities back to the system, putting the priorities where they should be. Um, so um, it, with that in mind, uh, people should not hesitate to file their cases. Yes, things have slowed down. Yes, things are much harder than they used to be. But the process is still there. Even if immigration shuts down next month, which they're threatening to do because they're, they're going to lay off three quarters of their workforce, um, they will be back. The cases will move eventually. Um, and there's no reason to wait. To, if you have a case that's, that you've been sitting on, delaying for whatever reason, don't delay. In addition, the filing fees are going to be going up very soon. I know we've been talking about the filing fees going up every summer, um, but um, I'm sorry, we've been talking about the filing fees going up all summer. They're coming. I, I, I mean, we will be proven right on this subject. Look, the longer it takes for them to, to raise the filing fees, the better. It's coming, though, folks. So if you've got a case, you need to file it. Don't wait. There you go. Once again, that's the voice. That's the yes. voice, Conrad Pollock, a.k.a. the maestro managing partner, practicing attorney at the firm. Um, once again, ladies and gentlemen, this is where you actually place and ask your immigration questions. Um, if you want to speak with the attorneys for free on the phone, you can actually call them at 844-774-3529. That's 844-774-3529. That's 844-774-3529. Apology on that in the background there. All right. But... Adam, what I need from you, I need a true success story, man, on personal injury before we get to the immigration questions, which we'll be doing later. So can you give us a true success story as I give you uh, the reins as yeah. I have given you um, before, but let's give it to you right now. And you have the reins, my brother. All right. Yeah, man. Thanks so much. True life success stories. What are they? Well, it's basically us, you know, backing up what we say here. Uh, we could talk ourselves blue in the face about how great we are and all these amazing things we do for our clients, not only this year, but in years past. I mean, lawyers love talking about themselves. That, that's just facts, right? Lawyers love talking about themselves because lawyers are the ultimate advocates. You know, when our client comes in and, and signs with our firm, you know, we're, we're on the job right away. That is our priority, making sure that their legal needs are taken care of. And when we're in court, I'm the ultimate advocate. When Matthew's in court, uh, he's the ultimate advocate. When Nelson and Conrad have to deal with immigration court, they're the ultimate advocates. Um, and we're not just advocating for our firm right now because the proof is in the pudding. And these true life success stories, which we post day in and day out, um, are amazing, amazing results for clients. This is something that we talked about back in, um, I believe, late February, squeeze you and I, and uh, this was actually Matthew Goodstein, my associate's biggest settlement um, uh, of his career. It was 750000 that he got earlier this year. And I wanted to talk about this case. It was an awesome job. Uh, uh, and uh, let, let's, go, let's go to it right now. So if you wouldn't mind, Squeeze, uh, reading that quote for me. Can, can you see that quote right there? Absolutely. Adam Handler and Matthew Goodstein are excellent attorneys, plain and simple. They made me feel so comfortable throughout the process. The whole team called to check in on me frequently. My relationship and interactions with them felt like much more than a business transaction. They treated me like I was a family member. Adam and Matt made sure that I was listening to my doctor and resting because they cared about my well-being. There's nothing that the case handler team could have done better. Everything went perfectly. Livingston from Amityville, New York. Settlement. Wait for it. Wait for it. $750,000. We're talking about U.S. greenbacks, U.S. dollars, talking about the Benjamins. That's what we're talking about, all right? And, and, let, and let me add that that was the maximum he could have recovered in this case. It was a $250,000 policy with a $500,000 excess or a $750,000 policy, now that I'm thinking of it. But make a, make a long story short, that was it. That was the maximum money he can get. We didn't settle for seven forty-five. I remember Matthew was getting phone calls from them. Hey, maybe you know, let, let's settle for six hundred or six fifty or seven hundred or seven ten. You know, trying to save some money. I get it. You know, it's a business. Insurance companies need to save money, but we wouldn't let them save a penny. And the reason why is because this was a gentleman that was walking down the street, um, crossing the street back in December of two thousand eighteen. 
Uh, he was hit by a vehicle, had fractures to his left uh, fibula and tibia, which is in his leg. And he had to have a, a major reconstructive surgery to the bone, which left him with a pretty nasty scar. You could see that right there. I mean, he's got hardware in there. He's got rods. He's got screws. Those are permanent reminders of the negligence of that driver. And thankfully for him, the driver did have um, some decent coverage. I mean, this could have been a situation where the driver only had the minimum uh, $25,000 in New York. The minimum amount of insurance that you need to carry is only 25,000, meaning if this driver had that minimum policy, it's very, very likely that Livingston would have only required 20, uh, would only have obtained 25 grand, which would have been uh, a huge tragedy. In New, York, in New Jersey, it's 15,000. Can you imagine? So, uh, you know, I don't want to say he got lucky, but he was fortunate that the vehicle that hit him did have very, very good insurance, which covered all the medical bills. And of course, on top of that, $750,000 tax free for Livingston. Certainly life changing money for life changing injuries. And that's what we do here. Uh, you know, millions and millions and millions and millions and millions of dollars for our clients, millions and millions and millions just during the pandemic alone with nothing more than a Wi-Fi connection. Your boy, Adam Handler, your case handler, Matthew Goodstein, we settled over six million dollars for our clients with nothing but a Wi-Fi connection, a Wi-Fi connection stronger than the Wi-Fi connection I had a few minutes ago when we were tuning out. But, you know, all, ki all kidding aside, that's what we do. Incredible, incredible things because we were provided the opportunity to do so. This client had all the choices to make. Any lawyer out there, right? And there are a lot of good lawyers. And he chose Pollock, Pollock, Isaac DeSico. Why do you think, David, he chose PPID to represent him in that car accident case. I mean, from my personal perspective, I know you. And I know what you personally um, is capable of when you are representing your clients. I know that you are going to get the client the maximum compensation. I know that there's no other attorney anywhere out there that I've ever met that has done what it is that you have done. You don't leave a dime on the table. You're that kind of a guy. You don't leave a penny on the table. He refuses to do that, ladies and gentlemen. He's going from the, for, for the maximum compensation that you listening to 93.5 FM can get, that you watching on Facebook can get. So if you ever get hurt in that accident, you only need that one man because you've got that one chance and one choice, and he's definitely your case handler. So that number that's on the screen behind him on Facebook, 844-774-3529, that's the same number the 93.5 FM listeners need to dial now and store the number Okay, for future use. The number is 844-774-3529. That's 844-774-3529. What I want to touch on Adam with um, Nelson and Conrad is there are times when you have clients who are out of status. Many of, of our listeners right now believe that because they're out of status, they're under the radar, they don't want to get involved with any immigration situation because they might get in trouble, get put in deportation. How do you guys as a firm how do you guys as Pollock, Pollock, Isaac, and DeSico, how do you guys as PPID handle someone who is a little bit saying, hey, I got into an accident, a bad accident. I can't do anything about it because I'm not legal here. How do you guys handle that? I mean, I have the answer, but it's great devil's advocate here. doesn't matter. I mean, you can bring a lawsuit. You can sue or be sued regardless of your immigration status. Um, in fact, relevant to that, you know, it wasn't long ago that the uh, administration had ICE and the Immigration Service, you know, chasing after people as they entered into the courthouse, checking their ID, making sure they had green cards, trying to round up illegal aliens as they were going to court because they had to appear as a uh, in their own case or as a witness or something like that. That recently ended. Federal court just struck that pra practice down not too long ago, last month, I believe, it was right now. Yep. Um, Southern so District. Basically, yeah. So basically. You, you don't need to have a green card. You don't need to be legally here. You could be as illegal as, as the day is long, uh, and you can still bring your action to court. You can still hire the, the shark to get that recovery if somebody slams it. Am I going to be put in deportation? Am I going to get in trouble when I go to court? Am I going to be put in deportation? What's going to happen? Am I going to be... Immigration has to catch you in order to do that. And as I just said, they're not allowed to do that anymore. Immigration cannot stand in front of the courthouse door trying to round people up that are illegally here. And, so and let, me add, let me add real quick, you know, the insurance companies have no way of knowing what your immigration status is. And a lot of times, and, and, and my staff will back you up on this, 
Um, they call right away and say, oh yeah, thanks for reporting the claim. Uh, we would just want to get some information. What's your client's social security number? No, 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 no. Even if they have one, we don't give it out because right. I know that they're going to run that social security number and try to find out some information. Listen, I've been practicing personal injury law for 17 years. All right. Knock on wood. I have never had a single instance, not one, that a client of mine had any issues with immigration because they reported a claim, not a single instance. And by the right? same token, by the same token, I mentioned the, the opposite, uh, the, the other side of that coin. We have been plenty of clients that Adam has brought to the immigration department at PPID at 225 Broadway around the third floor. Uh, where a person didn't have the green card or was here on a tourist visa right. and got involved in an accident. And we were able to keep them here. We were able to help them. We were able to make it possible for them to finish their case and get their recovery. Which is so, which is makes just an, yet another reason, if you needed one, that you would want to go with PPID. Because not only can we handle the personal injury, Conrad Nelson, Alexandra, um, Shira, they, they'll back me up on the immigration issues. You know, you can go to a personal injury lawyer that does just personal injury. Great. But what happens when you need that visa extended? Or what happens if, God forbid, something adverse uh, is affecting you with respect to your immigration? Where are you going to turn to? You know, right. you can go to yeah. another law firm. And even beyond that, Adam, what about after you get them their millions of dollars? Uh, they want to buy that house for their mother that they've always wanted to do. Right. We walk them down the hall and we introduce them to the closer. And Fred DeSico does the closing. Or uh, we walk them in the other direction. And we, we, we have one of our lawyers do a will for them or, 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 or state planning that they, right. that, they, that they now need because they have so much money in the bank. So we're, we're full service, folks. We can do it all. Yep, ladies and gentlemen, definitely, definitely a full service law firm located at 225 Broadway. Nelson, the other addresses? Um, 107 Avenue I, Brooklyn, New York, 906 South Street, Peekskill, New York, and 225 Broadway, Third floor, New York. And you have the Maverick Minute right now. You got exactly 60 seconds. Let's see how good you are. Uh, you completely caught me off guard. Um, give us a call. You know, um, I, I think it's always a good thing to get a second opinion. Um, sometimes, you know, the attorney who you have may not necessarily know. Um, Perfect you know, example is where we just got to stay for the Stepping seminar. into the Maverick he Minute. Had a lawyer. He had a lawyer, right? Oh, right, right. Well, well, right. I mean, obviously, that's that's one case. You know, I'm actually working on a case this morning where I had two children that were ordered deported while they had another attorney, and uh, they're about to get green cards. And I'm working on that case right now. So. That's what I'm talking about. So, ladies and gentlemen, if you're out there, I want everyone to get a free phone consultation with the Maverick today, with Conrad today, with one of the attorneys. How do you do it? Every one of you, stop what you're doing right now and dial this number and get a free phone consultation, okay? Immigration phone consultation, 844-774-3529. That's 844-774-3529. 844-774-3529. It's 9 o'clock. There we go. All right. We got the Maverick Minute in, okay? Wonderful, wonderful show, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much. And... um. I notice our numbers are soaring on Facebook, um, and that's what we want. And once again, as we do uh, cruising with a case handler each and every single weekday morning at 8.30 a.m., we are now imploring you and asking you and begging, begging you to share the page, all right? Share the page with at least 10 people. Got to say a pleasant good morning to a few people. Who you want to say good morning to on Facebook, Adam? I want to say a good morning to my dad. He watches every day. Uh, actually, my two dads, my father-in-law and my dad. So what's up, guys? And uh, uh, thanks for your support. And of course, we've got wonderful Facebook, uh, Katana, uh, my, uh, my wonderful, wonderful, beautiful paralegal, Sandra, her daughter, um, who's just, uh, you know, the example of a true fighter right now. Katana, uh, sending out love, good vibes to you. And thanks for all your support as well. Appreciate that. I'm out of here, guys. Have fun. And uh, remember, squeeze that one question I got for you. You down with PPID? Come on. You know me. All right. <laughs> All right. So we got a couple of immigration questions here, um, if we can just throw these in. All right. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, beautiful day. We've got um, Ali, who is on, our, on the Facebook page right now. He says, I am visa category F1, 
unmarried adult son. I had my interview at the consulate in February. At the end of the interview, the officer requested submission of two additional documents along with my passport. I submitted everything yesterday. Does the consulate have a time limit on responding on my application? No. Isn't he subject to the uh, presidential proclamation as well? Sure is. He's subject to the ban and there is no time limit. I would suggest that he get comfortable wherever he is right now because unless uh, Trump loses in November, he might wait a long time before he gets his green card. Okay. So if he's got friends that are U.S. citizens, tell him to vote and vote for Joe Biden. There you go. Very, very important that he does. All right. Once again, folks, the number is 844-774-3529. That's 844-774-3529. Now, squeeze, just one thing on, on the bands that we, we haven't touched on much today. Um, you know, the bands are temporary. Right now, the, these bands on cases like this gentleman, this F1 sitting in this country waiting, haven't gone through the entire process. And F1, he's probably been waiting five to 10 years to get his green card. And now, basically it gets the rug pulled out from under him with these yeah, ridiculous that's... bans. Um, you know, the bans are temporary. Right now this ban is, is supposed to expire on December 31st of this year. I can pretty much assure you folks that if this orange person I... is reelected, <laughs> uh, that ban is not gonna be so temporary. It's gonna be extended again and again and again. And it I wouldn't surprise me if he gets reelected, that ban will continue throughout the rest of his next second term. So. It is so important. If you're an immigrant out there, if you have family that you're looking to bring to the United States, or if you're somebody who just, like this gentleman, uh, has just finished his case, has been waiting all these years, and now at the very end, just as it's about to cross the finish line, is they push they push the line back a couple of years. You know, I mean, that's just so unfair. And the reasoning is just such nonsense. You know, like they like he's taking jobs jobs away from American workers. That's the pretext here, or that he's bringing. Uh, the virus with him as if he's bringing the virus to us where we we have the largest amount of cases in the world you know i, I mean it's just such nonsense but the fact is if this guy gets reelected, we're facing this kind of stuff for years all right this nonsense so get out there and vote folks and vote for joe biden and let's get rid of this guy and let's get the united states back on track there we go. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, Conrad Pollock, managing partner at the firm PPID, as we do cruising with a case handler on personal injury and immigration. We're now focused on immigration. So if you have those questions, please place them on the Facebook page that you're watching. Speaking about Facebook, got to say much respect to Bergs that just joined. Carol Anderson, the Tiger, thank you so much. Raquel Stone, she said, all roads lead to PPID. Thank you so much. <laughs> <laughs> you know, like Linda, thank you so much. You know, everybody out there, you know, for uh, uh, tuning in. Okay. Um, Denisa, thank you all so much also. Let's get back to the questions here. Um, hi, I need help regarding my uh, affidavit of support. My main sponsor has zero income, so I want to add a joint sponsor. My joint sponsor's income is 100000 and he already has three dependents. Is one joint sponsor enough, or do I need to add another sponsor? Thanks in advance. Conrad? Nelson? <laughs> yeah, so anytime 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 someone petitions for anytime a family member petitions for another family member um that person is required to provide an affidavit of support um you know i hope well you know it, it's somewhat of a difficult fact pattern um because if that person is here in the united states they're subject to that new public charge rule right so you know, even if you have a joint sponsor that makes $100,000, it could be a problem, you know? So it, it's not so straightforward. Um, you know, if he makes $100,000 and he has three dependents, I think he should be fine, but it doesn't end there. You know, again, there's that 18 page application, um, the, I, the I-944, I think it's a declaration of self-sufficiency um, and, you know, that's an uphill battle. So, you know, again, you know, give us a call, you know, 844-774-3529. Unfortunately, there is not an easy answer to your question as again, things have become complicated. Yeah, a couple, a couple of years ago, that person would, would be a shoe in. I mean, you've got a co-sponsor, a joint sponsor that's making $100,000 with only three, three dependents. That's a, that's a no brainer, that would fly. But now, uh, the service is going to look to see if the applicant has received any kind of public benefits and public benefits can be anything, you know, I mean, 
you know, if you dri- went through the drive through at McDonald's last night, they could get you for, for public benefit. Now that's just, I'm just kidding, folks. Uh, <laughs> they, if you've, if you've uh, received SNAP, uh, if you've received Section 8 housing or you're living in Mo- Mitchell Lama apartments uh, mm-hmm. or any other kind of what they now consider public assistance, and that used to be just welfare or food stamps, now it's pretty much anything short of emergency medical care. Um, so uh, it's not just about uh, the income that you or your co-sponsor is, uh, is receiving. There are a lot of other factors involved. So you really need to take a serious look at, at, at all of these things before you file your case, before you finish your case. So as Nelson said, you should definitely give us a call. Okay. All right. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, you're in tune to Cruising with a Case Handler, Personal Injury and Immigration. We're answering your immigration questions here. Call him once again at 844-774-3529. Um, hi, my father had applied for my F3 immigration and in March, in March, and in March 2020, I received an acceptance letter from the immigration office. But unfortunately, my father passed away. My sister is an American national. Now, where do I stand and how do I move forward? Any advice? Please. Thanks. So where you know if that person is abroad that person may be stuck abroad um if that person is in the united states um there may be a process we can help him with which is obviously very long um and detailed to go into in a couple of minutes we have on on the show um give us a call you know uh, obviously you know squeeze a lot of what we give is information you know sometimes we need a lot more facts before we can actually give an opinion. Um, As I said, it's unclear. If the person is abroad, chances are they're done. If they're here, there may be an option. There may be something we can do. Yeah, if the person's outside the United States, the only way they can continue with that case uh, would be to uh, try to get that approval, uh, that visa petition approval. Well, it's gonna be revoked once the immigration service or or the NBC consulate finds out that the petitioner died. Uh, but they can reinstate that approval only if they can demonstrate through, for, huma- for substantial man- humanitarian reasons that that petition should be approved. So if that applicant is outside the United States and has some serious medical issues that can't be dealt with wherever he or she is, um, or um, I, 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 there are substantial humanitarian reasons why that person needs to come to the United States, they could apply for the State Department to try to get that revo- the revocation reinstated very difficult to do. It's always that's always been a hard thing, a, a, a heavy lift, especially nowadays. Persons in the United States, different story. It's a complicated process, and you should call us. Okay, eight four four seven seven four three five two nine. That's the number eight four four seven seven four three five two nine. Got another question here. Uh, uh, hello, I filed a petition for my sister when she was not married. I just received her case is approved. But now she has two kids and husband, not in petition. What will happen? Will she be able to bring kids and husband? Please advise. That's a fourth preference case, F4. Doesn't matter if the beneficiary is married or not. She could bring her husband. They're going to have to include the husband. As far as the kids, the kids can come so long as the kids are under 21 when the priority date is current. A case like that could take anywhere from 10 to 15 years. So yeah. I don't know when they filed. Uh, I don't know what the age of the, of, the, of the kids are. But if the kids are young, the kids are under five, 10 years old right now, there's a good chance they'll be able to come. Um, but yes, everybody can come. Again, the kids can come only if they're under 21 at the time of the uh, visa interview. All right. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, cruising with a case handler, we're speaking on immigration. The firm is PPID, Paula Pollock, Isaac, and DeSico. The phone number is 844-PPID-LAW. That's 844-774-3529. Here's an interesting one. Uh, hello, please help me. I am American and I live in the Caribbean with my husband. I sent a letter explaining that I will move to the U.S. as soon as he gets approved as proof of intending domicile. The letter got denied because I'm not in the country. I don't have domicile in the United States since 2004. Do I have to live in the U.S. alone to approve him from distance? Thanks in advance. No, you don't necessarily have to live in the United States to petition for your spouse. The issue she's going to have is her affidavit of support. She's going to have to demonstrate that she has enough income to support her husband. um, And that may be an issue. Um, But no, you don't have to live in the United States to petition for a spouse. Yeah, the problem there is that because she's not in the United States, she's not working. 
So unless that person is, is independently wealthy, um, she's going to need a, a joint sponsor here in the United States with a substantial enough income to support. What if she's working in the, in, the, in, the, in the other country? She's going to have to demonstrate that she makes enough work. income to be able to support her husband. Plus, she's coming to the United States with him. That job's going to end. Mm -hmm. Interesting. All right, and this is the reason why you need attorneys, ladies and gentlemen. This is the reason why you should never do your case yourself. And I'd like for you all to uh, pick up the, the phone right now and dial this number, 844-774-3529. That's 844-774-3529. Very, very, very important that you actually but, make that link and make that call. Yes, Conrad. By the way, um, talk, going back to, again, Biden's uh, immigration policy, which, 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 again, I would recommend anybody has interest in immigration, really start Googling and see what he's proposing. One of the first things that he's going to do, if not the first thing, he's going to reverse this absurd public charge rule. He states it clearly right up front. He's going to get rid of this public charge rule. So all of these calls we're getting today, if Biden gets elected, those problems go away. Got you. Got you. All right, ladies and gentlemen. All right. Once again, this has been Cruising with the Case Handler. We want to say thanks to each and every one who has actually stayed with us. Do remember to share okay, the link with everyone that you know that may need help from this powerful firm okay, on immigration, on personal injury. I say to each and every one, if you need that free phone consultation on any area of law that the firm practices, make sure you call this number now. 844-774-3529. That's 844-774-3529. That's 844-P-P-I-D-L-A-W. We must, we must remind you that prior results do not guarantee similar outcome. And yes, this has been an attorney advertisement. However, they have proven themselves. They have demonstrated that they can help you in the area of immigration. And they will not take a case unless they know that they truly can help you. Call them, 844-774-3529. Thank you, Conrad. Thank you, Nelson, and we'll catch up again Welcome. soon. Thank you.